of course the medical aspect would be the top priority but you've got to look at it wholesome we are also looking at that as a person not just okay this is the next person that comes in line telling yourself that it's okay not to know everything and no one's not they're not going to hold it against you because you don't know but you assure them that you get back to them and sincerity and doing that little extra it comes up it radiates from you they were not able to celebrate many of them do not share with their families what happened because they didn't want to be worried and um yeah, it, it was it was heart wrenching for me. I had one from India, and um, he asked me, he's like, he looked at me, he said, "Why are you not afraid?" Um, I just couldn't say I wasn't. I think it would be, I would lie if I said I was not afraid. But I told him that we had to do what we had to do. particular uh, the nurse that came around to check um, how I was with Patricia. She was very friendly and she came around to explain, um, uh, reassure me about the various tests that I would be expecting so that I would be aware of uh, what's going to happen next. So I think with that uh, additional uh, pieces of information, it helped me uh, be more comfortable and more at ease even though it was the emergency department. So explanation of the diagnosis, what the checks meant and stuff. Uh. So uh, the reassurance really uh, helped a lot. Good patient care means putting our patient's best interest first. All patients must be treated with empathy, dignity and respect. There's often a strong connection between having a good patient-doctor relationship and having a positive treatment outcome. If you care deeply, for your patients and they will also be more likely to trust you and if they trust you, it will lower their anxiety in reaction to the treatment they received. It's the most humble caregiving person I ever met. <laughs> really very, very, very good. He's very, very thorough in uh, what you call in his after or what you call post <laughs> post <laughs> post <laughs> Keep on fighting, keep up the spirit. Um, each of us, we know why we are here. We have loved ones, treasure them. And um, most of all, you know, seek help. I mean, it can get overwhelming. It's not about how much you do, but how much love you put into it, that makes a difference, yeah. This COVID-19 pandemic is unprecedented. And even when the best thing has become available, it's still full of uncertainty. But I would like to encourage everyone to continue to show empathy and compassion to our patients and our staff as well. just want to take this time to uh, affirm uh, the frontliners, the healthcare team and even the, the people on the, the back end, especially uh, for those who are really battling COVID-19 uh, on the front lines. I right? just want to, to say uh, a big thank you. Uh, for all the effort and for all the unseen effort also because uh, without you guys we, we won't really we, we don't know who to turn to also right to continue doing doing things out of love um, yeah and, and out of your passion out of your love for, for people and to make uh, make this world a better place yeah in fact they are the real fighter to be honest they are the real fighter there are, nobody would like to do this kind of frontline job, knowing that they are putting their life at stake. But whatever it is, uh, the nurses are very, very good. Very, very good. Keep up the really good work. <laughs>